Hello everybody, my name is Austin, this is Jeff. Today we're going to be showing you how to time a magneto through our O360. So the first step you want to do when you're timing a magneto to your engine is to make sure that the magneto is properly internally timed and it's ready to send a spark to cylinder number one. So uh, we're going to show you how to do that real quick. So to make sure the magneto is ready to send a spark to the engine, we have to make sure that when it's in the E-gap position, this red tooth is in that window. And to do that, we'll hook it up to a timing line. Red cable onto the P lead, and the other two cables onto the case to ground them. And we're going to turn the rotor until it sounds right there. And then we want to make sure that the red tooth is in the window. And it is. I need to go back on the engine. Before we do that, there's a couple things we have to do. So, uh, first of all, uh, well, we made sure the magneto is ready to send a spark to the first cylinder, and so now we have to make sure the engine is prepared to receive a spark. So the first thing we want to do is make sure cylinder number one is on our compression stroke. So we're going to remove the spark plug from that cylinder. All right, place the thumb over the spark plug hole. Grab the prop. Before you grab the prop, make sure the mixture is uh, idle cut off. The mags are both off, so there's no danger of it moving around on you. Thumb's going to go over the hole. You're going to move the prop until you feel air coming out. That's going to indicate the cylinder's on compression stroke. So there it is right now. So our cylinder is near top dead center. Now there's a few different methods of making sure we're at exactly top dead center um, or at the exact uh, place that the prop needs to be. But uh, this particular engine is going to have timing marks right here on the propeller flange. And so looking at our aircraft data plate, which is right here, uh, super official, we can see that uh, 22 degrees before top dead center is where we want the engine to be when we get that spark. So we've got a uh, 20 and 25 mark down here, and then we've got a little black hole. And so we're just gonna align to 22 degrees right there. And so now we know the propeller is in the proper, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the engine crankshaft is in the proper position to receive a spark from the magneto we just timed. So we have the propeller in the proper position and the magneto mounted. We're going to rotate the mag so that it sends the spark at the proper time. To do that, we're just going to rotate this until our timing light turns on. Right there. And then we're going to tighten it down. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is hook up our timing light so that we can check and make sure that the magneto is actually in the proper position with the uh, engine positioned how we have it. So once again, we're gonna take our timing light and just kind of place it on the engine somewhere where the, uh, the leads will be able to reach the magneto. Put one of your leads on ground, red or green, doesn't matter, whichever light you want to fire. And uh, also make sure that these clips aren't actually touching the case because that'll ground out the light. So there's our clip on the P lead. And then last two uh, clips can just go somewhere on the engine to uh, ground that out. And uh, now we're set up to, to check the timing of the magneto to the engine. All right, so now that we've got the magneto timed to the engine and the engine ready for the spark, let's go ahead and test it to see if we had our degrees set. Okay, so what you want to do is just pull the prop back so that you get the gear lash out and then push forward again and to get it to the correct degree setting. Let's see. Yep, right on. It did good. Alright guys, so uh, last thing to do is just to make sure that we uh, have this engine ready to go right back out onto the line. So I want to make sure we disconnect our timing light. Get that off here. Put it back in our uh, toolbox. Just Uh, spark plug is going to go back in and uh, make sure <laughs> make sure you've got it back in and torqued to the specification and uh, we'll do that later, you'll just have to take my word for it and uh, make sure the magneto is uh, properly tightened in and torqued in and uh, after that this engine's ready to go What's up YouTube? <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's out here. <laughs> Alright, so my name's Austin, this is Jeff My name's Jeff Okay, yep. so good cut right there yep. 